Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So I uploaded a video yesterday with a guy who refused to get off the topic of backyard eggs. With it being closer to the end of the day of debating, being threatened to be stabbed, dealing with people who only wanted to discuss methane or oysters, oh and plus having a shouting match with two farmers. You haven't got a clue. You're going down. Stop abusing animals. I wasn't really much in the mood to play nice. What about the bacon you eat with them? My eggs. The bacon you eat with them? Eggs. Now yeah, of course I could have answered the man's backyard egg question in more depth, for which I have an elaborate response for, but it seems insane to me to talk about the ethics of keeping hens in your backyard and eating an egg they drop out every now and then when you're eating the chopped up body parts of cows, pigs, lambs, fish, and the murdered bodies of other chickens. I mean, this is like discussing the ethical consequences of swearing with someone who shoots people in the face for sport. But in case anyone was interested in how you could respond, here are some of the ethical implications of backyard hens. People who eat backyard eggs still view eggs as food. Eggs are the furthest thing from food. They're a shelled menstruation which comes out the hen's ass vagina. The hen's cloaca is the same hole her poop, wee, and other fluids come from. Yes, in a hen it all comes out the same hole. Not sure why you'd want to eat anything that comes out of that hole, but whatever. I mean, it's not unethical to eat an animal's poop either. It's disgusting, but technically not immoral. It's only when these bodily secretions become a commodity that we begin to have a problem. Now, because a backyard egg eater still views eggs as food, they're almost always eating eggs at restaurants, outside their home, at a friend's house, or in packaged products in their house which contain eggs as ingredients. These products will almost always contain conventional eggs from a caged or free range farm where the conditions are appalling and are definitely not consistent with the backyard hen owner's happy hens, happy eggs delusion. One thing people seem to miss is that the backyard egg industry is still part of the same industry as conventional eggs. Yeah, they're in my backyard, they're happy. You, you supported an industry that macerates male chicks. Just like in my conversation with this man, when you pay a breeder to give you layer chicks to lay your eggs, you are supporting the horrible practice of breeding chickens. If you haven't seen my documentary Violated, I will briefly rehash what breeding egg layer hens entails. Egg layer chicks come from parent breeders who are kept in specific sheds for breeding. The most common practice for breeding parent birds is the introduction of roosters to the barn. There is typically one male to every 10 breeder hens placed in a laying barn. Roosters are known to be aggressive around other males and towards hens when mating. So to introduce so many of them to overcrowded, confined sheds can only be described as cruel as the birds have no way of escaping each other. When older males become less productive breeders, they are slaughtered and younger males are introduced who are more sexually active. This is called spiking a flock. The breeding hens really don't get a break and are repeatedly mated. Parent birds are raised and kept until approximately 64 weeks and produce about 160 fertile eggs and are then slaughtered. The fertile eggs are taken from their mother and are then incubated in hatcheries. The male chicks are useless to the egg industry and do not produce eggs, so they are destroyed via maceration or gassing, and the females are either moved onto a rearing site to become conventional egg layers or are sold to backyard hen owners. So as you can see, these hens are all coming from the same process. To support this industry is to support horrific animal cruelty. Another point to mention, hens have been selectively bred to produce more eggs than usual. Naturally, a hen might lay 10 to 12 eggs a year, but because of the various ways these breeds are manipulated, they can lay anywhere from 250 to 320 eggs per year. This puts an enormous strain on the hen's reproductive system. Because of this, the hens will need to replace the vital nutrients that are lost. So instead of taking the bird's eggs for yourself, feeding their eggs back to them is best. Now, let's just say for argument's sake, you rescued a hen from a factory farm to avoid the hatchery and breeder sheds, you only ate the inside of the egg and fed the shells back to the hens in your backyard and gave them extra nutrients to replace what they lost from laying. You didn't eat eggs at all outside of your home or in any other circumstance, so you didn't support any other aspect of the egg industry. You were vegan in every other way. You didn't use wool, leather, silk, or down. You weren't eating bacon with your backyard eggs. This is a gas chamber. Eggs. Do you eat them with bacon? like the guy I debated. You weren't eating cows or supporting the cruel dairy industry. The only thing you did was eat eggs that were dropping out of your rescued hens. Even then, I would still say that the way you are viewing these animals is the problem. This is where it all begins. You are still viewing eggs as a product. You are still viewing hens as a resource. The only reason factory farms exist the only reason slaughterhouses exist is because human beings see an animal and they see a product. Instead of seeing an individual, they see something to gain. The only reason people have chickens in their backyard 
is because they want the eggs that come out of them. And what happens when they stop laying for you? You stop caring, you send them to slaughter. Human beings need to stop viewing animals as their own little personal slaves and stop making bad excuses to exploit them. Yeah, they're in my backyard, they're happy. No, you, you supported an industry that macerates male chicks. Are my chickens happy? If you truly cared about animals, you would be vegan. Thanks for watching. Peace.